My name is Eleanor Duffin and the title of the exhibition is A Phantom Limb. So within this exhibition there are four screen prints, a number of plants, there's a number of casts of my hands, there's also an audio piece and there's some very big curtains. <laughs> So the hand casts refer to a cast by Barbara Hepworth of her hand, which is on a table at Treywind Studio, which is Barbara Hepworth's studio in St. Ives. I visited the studio at the end of 2018 and was very taken by the hand. And on returning to my own studio, I started to cast my own hand. I suppose I was curious about the reason for Hepworth casting her hand in some sort of sense of othering herself, perhaps. I think I'm going to Hepworth's studio and seeing the studio in that landscape, it triggered some sort of resonance. Her consideration of how she made the work was definitely responding to the actual geographical location of where it was made. And this really interested me because previous to to working on this project, I'd been researching this idea of people responding to the land and to substratas within landscape. On visiting Hepworth's studio, I began writing letters to her, which were more an exercise for myself to figure out why I was drawing these parallels between myself and herself. Those letters were never really intended to be made public because it felt quite diaristic. It felt like something that was just for me. But over time, sharing the letters helped develop the work in, in terms of during the readings, people responded to that and a dialogue began to grow. Even though the letters are written to Hepworth and she can't essentially respond I feel like there is a dialogue that's happening between me and other people who have experienced the readings of these letters. For this exhibition, the letters become an audio work and within this exhibition I see everything that's in the gallery space as one piece of work, even though there's numerous separate elements. This facet of the project comes from a bigger project called Phantoms of Form. I didn't expect it to incorporate numerous women. I, it started as a response to the work of the architect Eileen Gray. And when it started, I was really thinking about a female position in relation to working with materials. Because I think historically, uh, when I was at art school, I suppose I learned more about prominent male figures within art history and their practices. And as time went on, I became more curious about what the position meant from a female perspective, what working with materials means as a woman, because I am a woman, I can't negate that. <laughs> so is there a different set of parameters and circumstances that get brought to the making process? And I don't always know what the object's gonna be at the end of the production, but it's through the kind of dialogue with the materials that that comes to the surface. I think the opportunity to have a solo exhibition at this point in my career was really important for me. To have a whole year to develop a body of research, which is supported not only through the funding of the award, but also through the dialogue with the gallery space. Having that support meant that I felt my confidence boost and the decisions I was making validated. 